Oh my gosh, I've missed this thing so much. As you can probably tell, I'm back home in Japan. And as you can probably tell as well, my hair's changed. Um, literally like the day I flew in, the next morning I went and had a haircut and uh, told my hairdresser what had happened with my job and how I was doing full-time YouTube now. And he said, well, we need to do something crazy with your hair. And I said, uh, omakase, which kind of means I'm in your care. Please do what you think is best. This is what he thought was best. I'm not 100% digging it yet, but um, maybe it'll grow on me. I don't know. <laughs> you guys tell me what you think in the comment section. Anyways, um, 33.4. Before I left, we had a whole bunch of goodies rock up that we need to install. And the weather is actually just hoodies and jeans weather here now. It's not snowing anymore. So let's install some of those goodies. The first thing being that really nice billet cube speed shifter. Because if any of you guys know Skyline shifters, after a few years, uh, well, I mean, these cars are all like 20 years old now, but after like 10, 15 years, they start getting really sloppy and just flopping around in there. So let's fix her up. Okay, so the first thing with this kit that I love is how it comes with full instructions on how to do the installation so you're not left wondering and Googling. Um, but the kit itself, really nice shift knob. Uh, I guess that's kind of like, what do you call this? The main shaft. Um, <laughs> uh, and then I, you know what? I don't even know. I'll just call that another shaft as well. And then we got the rest of the pieces and stuff wrapped up here in bubble wrap, packaged nicely so nothing scratches up against one another. So for us to do the installation is we're gonna have to take all of this trimming off, uh, the boot, everything needs to come off. And on the 33 Skyline, it's simple. You just gotta undo one screw there and then this whole thing clips out. And then we need to get to, uh, I think there'll be four screws holding like the big boot over it. But first things first, before we do anything, we're gonna take the shift knob off. So let's get this sucker off. Next step is taking out this screw. Um, preferably don't do this with your left hand like I am if you're right-handed. But uh, vlog, vlog is life, lads. Vlog is life. Oh man, so much no eye coordination stuff with my left hand. There we go. Put that up in there, safekeeping place. All right, cool. So now what you can do with this is essentially pop it up like that whole thing's gonna come out. The other thing you need to do is disconnect your cigarette lighter too. Once you kind of get this kind of, hang on, what's going on? Why are you being so difficult? All right, hang on, hang on, hang on. There we go. Get that, the, those clips out first. Then, and we have to take the handbrake off too, I think, by memory. Let's just, let's just reset here. Yep, there we go. Get it out, away for the handbrake. Then she slides out. Cool. Now we're gonna un plug well we could probably just actually just sit that there like that but I'm gonna unplug those wires anyways and then we're gonna undo these four bolts here yay and then um, yeah we'll pick it up from there I think because yeah anyways so many innuendos in this video I think and we can see the top of my transmission now yay so um, first things first I can understand why there's a bit of a smell of transmission fluid coming in and that is gonna need to be replaced um, yeah, these things break after a few years and like look at it. It's just yeah um, If you ever get the smell of like transmission fluid coming into your cabin This is generally why this seal here breaks splits um, And yeah, they're really cheap to place you can just get them from Nissan OEM So that's what I recommend you do it looks like at some point someone's already had this off because I know that it's got a zip tie on it uh, you're Lovely getting my hands dirty straight away. Yeah, oh, and he didn't even have the right size one. He double zip tied it Yeah that's called a centipede, boys. Centipede zip tie technique. All right, well, there's my old shifter with another zip tie in there. Jeez, this previous owner loved his zip ties, eh? Good on him. All right, we're gonna go and disassemble, pull the shifter out, and then uh, we'll pick it up from there, I think, because uh, things are gonna get a bit complicated for me to hold a camera at the same time. But you get the gist of it, I think, lads. Let's get into it. Okay, quick little update. I managed to get the two circlips out. Um, in fact, this one I didn't even have to battle with at all. This just came out really easily because I got this first one out and the easiest way to do that was, it says in the instructions here that all you need to do is put a flathead screwdriver in this little groove here and then just kind of pry it out. That's exactly what I did. I just put it in the groove and the whole thing just popped out. Got the two circlips out. Now this should just lift out like that, I guess. Sweet, there you go. Well, that was relatively easy. Um, now I need to go back to the instructions and figure out what to do next. Um, cool. All right, so next step in the instructions was I needed to check now what uh, uh, shifter bushing I need to use, which is this bigger one. The easiest way to do that is the other one 
that's in here is this smaller one like this and all you need to do is just look at this one and see oh hey yeah my my this one matches that one so that's how you figure it out so now we've got to install this onto the base of the new cube shifter and the way that it says to do that is put a, a bit of like wheel bearing grease or something on the tip and then it should uh, slip in but you got to press it in with a flat surface and your body weight so i'm going to go do that now and then uh, we should be good all right so we got everything lubed up and pushed into place and the shifter's in there now and it kind of feels really tight and nice um this part of the instruction manual uh, seems like we just got to put our little banana clips on now and it just shows like if you've got the big bolt pattern one see how like you need to have it upside down compared to the one that we've got so we need to make sure that this little groove here goes in this way not this way so in theory should be able to just hang on let's uh, take one out of my hand here we go one-handed stuff again which is why I keep dropping things all the time in my videos there you go it just kind of sits there like that I guess cool this is i'm actually relatively surprised how easy this is going i think I, i'm not going to have to get under the car at all unless i want to change the springs that are in there uh, in the shifter from the side to side kind of motion thing uh, i'll explain that in a little bit but there's a way you can change how the shifter feels by changing the two springs that go in either side which are uh, you can't really see it but there are two like places on either side of the shifter Anyways, uh, back onto this. So we've done that. Now we need to get pre-install the four grub screws into the shifter bush locking plate. Ah, I think it's talking about this locking plate stuff, which is probably, hang on. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna read the instructions. I'll be back. Okay, so I've pre-installed the grub screws, and uh, this is because you need to make sure they're all installed flush. Use the medium strength thread locker, purple Loctite is what I used. So now what I gotta do is using as well uh, purple Loctite. So I'm gonna put this in place, and we're going to thread in the bolts into those banana clips that kinda like clamp everything and hold it together. Uh, once again, using my purple Loctite, which I've got here, this stuff, nice Japanese branded one. Cool, get that done now, and uh, we'll pick it up after that. Awesome, so we got all the bolts in, we got the grub screws in and everything all tensioned up nice. It feels super solid and firm actually like going in and out of gear, which is great. Um, so what we gotta do now is put the put the nice little cover on, the little cube logo one, which goes over like that. So we'll screw that into place and then I think we're, uh, I think we're relatively done now. The only thing we got left to do is the uh, the shifter centering springs, which is on either side of the gearbox, which we're going to have to jack up the car to get to for sure. Um, but uh, yeah, I'll finish putting this together and then uh, we're kind of done. Okay, so I'm just kind of feeling this out. That's first, second, third, fourth, fifth, and then reverse. It's so different. I can't get over how much it... Like this, this is going to be much easier for me to just bang into gears when I'm driving now like drifting because before I kind of had to like really like feel it out but now I could easily just go boom and the throw is so much shorter too I guess that's the point of getting like a shift uh, a short uh, shifter right all right cool all right so I'm going to take this knob off because I want to reinstall the boot and everything get everything tidied up and then we'll jack the car up and we'll quickly throw in the centering springs. So it says here, if I throw in the firm springs with the helper springs, I'll get a 70% increase over stock. So I'm gonna go for that. Uh, the three spring kits are in here. You've got like the heavy duty ones here, the helper springs, and these are guess are the firm springs here. So if we put, put the heavy duty ones, we put these lot in, and they also come with new caps as well that go on the gearbox. Um, we should get a 70% increase and if you really want to go crazy you can get a 255% increase over stock <laughs> um, So yeah, I'm gonna quickly uh, put the boot on tidy things up in here And we'll go out for a test drive get a coffee from the convenience store and uh, See how it feels to drive because I'm really interested to know if uh, it's gonna fix like the shifting issues That I was having with it just being so sloppy in there and everything so let's do it Okay, so I had a look at what I needed to do to change out the centering springs, these guys. But unfortunately, um, the size of these um, like caps that go into the gearbox where the springs are held are 27 mil. And while I do have a socket that'll go over that, the distance between the chassis like tunnel and the gearbox is not uh, doesn't have enough space for me to fit this in there. And I don't have a 27 mil wrench. 
So the only thing I had was a shifter and there was, it was just done up so tight. There's no way that I could try and get that off with a shifter without it rounding off and damaging it. So I'm just gonna leave it for now. We'll run with the factory ones in there and at a later date when I've got the car in at Okachan's workshop, we'll throw it on the hoist and switch them out because it'll be like a five minute job that way. So anyways, I'm gonna pack everything up really quickly. I'm gonna take the car out for a test drive. So I'm just out for a test drive and man, I've missed driving this thing around so much. Um, but shifter wise, man, has it made a huge difference. Uh, just shifting into gears is just so much better. Hang on, we're gonna turn into the Gavini and get a quick coffee. All right, so now that I'm parked, let's get back onto the shifter. As I said, it's so much easier to shift now and the throw is so much shorter. Obviously, that's why it's called a short shifter kit. But um, like just for instance, this is first right now, right? And that's second, but just here, before I was like all the way up here. Like I felt like my hand was all the way over here, not just here. And it's gonna take me a while to get used to because I'm so used to that factory one that it feels like I'm like, hang on, is this even in gear? I have to second think everything. Um, but another thing that I really like about it is how it's firmed it all up and made it like kind of notchy. It's nice because I feel like it's gonna really help me know what's going on when I'm drifting at like Nico Circuit with a lot of gear changes, especially with the shorter throw now. Like if I'm in second, drifting drifting and I want to do an upshift to third on a transition it's just gonna be as simple as me popping in the clutch and going BAM I'm not like going Ugh, fiddling around in neutral then trying to find third it's just so much easier to find because it's kind of got that firm notchy feel to it now as well as the shorter throw is gonna really help me get it to gears a lot quicker as well um, but yeah I am actually really blown away with how good this feels even with like see how that's kind of a little bit like floppy there in the center so that's that's what i mean when we we're talking about wanting to change those center springs those um those will firm it up even more but like i said i'm still really amazed with how good this feels with those factory springs in there that i haven't even swapped out so that's a bonus and uh yeah i definitely think i want to get another one of these for my 34 back in australia next time we're there and install it because the installation was just so easy anyways enough of you guys seeing me playing around with this knob Let's go into the 7-Eleven and get ourselves a nice uh, coffee, hey? I've really been enjoying these uh, Georgia and 7-Eleven teamed up coffees that they've brought out. Good job, 7-Eleven. Thank you. I also got uh, like a spicy chicken. It's like, uh, I'll show you in a little bit. Let me jump in the car, I'll show you what it is. So this is that chicken that I was telling you about and it's kind of like, uh, this one's like a cheese chicken. So it's got like cheese in there with like real chicken and the spicy kind of like batter that it's in. I don't really know the exact name in Japanese for it, but it's freaking awesome. And if you ever get the chance, just try any type of chicken stuff in the convenience stores here because it's all good. Now that I've downed the chicken, it's time for your favorite part of the video. I know this is why you guys really watch is just to hear me crack open coffee. So here we go. Oh, look at that goodness in there. Come on camera, pick it up. Pick it up. Damn it, <laughs> can't even see it. Oh, there you go, now you can. Just just all about the angle. All right. Oh man, this stuff's gold. Seriously, if you're ever here right now, please get a can and try it. It's so good. Definitely miss driving this thing. <laughs> oh, I can't wait to take this thing out on the track again. Okay, so I am super amazed at how simple and easy it was to install that shifter. Definitely nothing like I've previously experienced with shifters. And like, I thought it was gonna be like a five hour ordeal. It was gonna be a huge headache. I was gonna get frustrated, probably throw a few tools at things. But in all honesty, it went so smooth and the included instructions even helped with that even more. Um, they even have like a YouTube video on a lot of their stuff as well that you can you know watch for installation guidelines and things like that. And they make so many different kits for so many different transmissions and cars out there. It's definitely worth, like me personally, I now know for a fact that with any of my future project cars, the first I'm gonna hit them up like right away and be like, hey guys, can can I get another shifter? Like, you know, do you have, make one for this? Or can I help you make one for this? Cause it needs to be done. Um, but yeah, I, I literally can't get over the difference. And the, just the, like the difference in throw is so good. It's firmed it up, it's nice and notchy now. And like I just took the car out for another drive to get some groceries and stuff. And I was already starting to get the hang of it. And I was just thinking to myself, man, it's so much easier to shift now. Like I don't have to put all this effort in, move my whole arm and elbow. And yeah, I'm really looking forward to drifting with it. 
Um, but yeah, like I just I can't get over how something as simple as that changed the feel of the car so much just in the aspect of how I operate it. So anyways, good good job guys. Um, and if any of you guys are looking for a shifter for your car, uh, definitely hit them up, cubespeed.com.au. I'll put a link down in the description. As well, guys, uh, they were, for sending this out and everything, they also provided a 10% off coupon for you guys. So if any one of you wants to get one, uh, just use the coupon code SAMIT. Um, I'm not 100% sure if that's going to be the code though, so if it does change, I'll put it in the description, but hopefully not, um, but I'll let you guys know. Anyways, once again guys, thanks heaps for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed, I hope you learned something from me uh, installing that shifter. I definitely did, and that is that I'm never going to use a factory shifter in any of my cars ever again. Um, so yeah, thanks heaps for watching, make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll catch you all in the next video. Ciao matane!